a fool to go back to my ex-boyfriend. What did I say? I'm Nessa and you're watching GH Doc TV. Subscribe, like, and comment. <laughs> GH Doc TV, your number one TV for all dog lovers. You're on GH Dog TV, your number one dog TV for all dog lovers. And my name is Solo One. You can call me the dog blogger. If you are new on our channel, you kindly subscribe to our channel and then you hit on the notification bell icon for more exclusive and amazing dog content. And then you also follow us on all of our social media handles on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at GH dog blogger now today on the show i'm going to get interactive with a dog lover right here and trust me it's going to be a wonderful we're going to have a wonderful conversation but then before we get right into today's episode let me acknowledge our proud sponsors bravek to chew bravek to chew your number one solution to all ticks fleas and mites infestations you've got ticks on your dogs fleas mites just go to any pet shop, get Bravecto Chew, and after giving your dog one tasty soft Bravecto Chew, they'll be free from ticks, fleas, and mites infestations for 12 good weeks. Bravecto can be given to breeding dogs, lactating dogs, as well as puppies from 8 weeks of age. So you just pick their contact details on our screen, or when you go to any pet shop, you ask of Bravecto and then... You're going to get everything sorted out. And then we're also proudly sponsored by Josira Pet Food. The pet food with passion. The pet food with passion. Yes, you have dogs. You're looking for quality dog feed for them. Link up with them. Pick their contact details on our screen. Or when you go to any pet shop, you ask of Josira. You ask of any product from Josira Pet Food. They've got sauces, poppy milk, dry food, wet food, and what have you. And the beautiful thing is they've even got dog food for diet sensitive dogs which are grain free and hypoallergenic now dog lovers let's go for a quick break we'll be back shortly my name is solo one you can call me the dog blogger don't go anywhere having trouble dealing with ticks mites and fleas infestations on your dogs use bravecto chew just give your dog one tasty soft bravecto chew and they will be free from ticks mites and fleas for 12 good weeks visit any pet shop near you and grab a pack of bravecto chew now for wholesale and retail, contact 0243-554-612. Remember, Bravecto Chew may be used in pregnant, breeding and lactating dogs as well as puppies from 8 weeks of age. Bravecto Chew, your perfect solution to all ticks, fleas and mite infestations. Okay, dog lovers, welcome back from that quick break. Welcome back from that quick break. I'm sure you can see in the background these wonderful families right here. Yes, I'm sure you can see this wonderful family right here. But then in case you want to link up with GH Dog TV, in case you want to link up with GH Dog TV, pick the contact details on our screen. 055-328-4056. 055-328-4056. If you want to sponsor our program, you want to advertise your products, you want to be on the show, you're a dog lover, you want to be on the show, you want us to visit your kennel, just pick this contact details and link up. Now, today on the show, I'm getting interactive with a dog lover and he happens to be one of the biggest fans of GH Dog TV. Boss man, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Solo One. That's how I call you. Or should I refer to as GH Dog TV? <laughs> or let me see how. The only dog blogger in Ghana. Yeah, supporting dog lovers as well. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Nice one. And uh, I'm, I'm very glad to finally meet with you once again. I think the first time we actually met him in person was at a dog show. Yes, if I can really remember. Yes, I, I think it was the Octagon Dog Show at KNUST. But unfortunately for us, when you went, they said they are, f um, they are done with the program. So I met you at the gate. And as a fan of your show, we took pictures and... I started um, following your YouTube handles as well. Yeah, so if you all quite remember, and I think you have also met again at KNUST for a second dog show as so, well. Yes. For that one, it was very massive. Very massive. But I intend sending my dogs to the next dog show as well. And we are raining. We are raining. <laughs> we are raining. Sure. That is well. So let me, let me pick it up from um, this part since... Um, when I got to meet you, you told me that you were a big fan. And yes, I remember that on our socials, on 
Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube. It's more like you are everywhere. So how did you how did you get to know about GH Dog TV and all? Can you share it to our dog lovers? Okay, I, actually, I got to know GH Dog TV on Instagram. I was um, scrolling through, looking at news fed, and um, a picture of a dog came by. A very nice picture. I think you interviewed a certain guy who had stray dogs. Yes, a certain young guy, and you were even asking of his whereabouts. So I hit it on the profile and was like, oh, I did have a social media because I've been following dog bloggers in, um, worldwide, but I haven't seen the dog blogger from Ghana. So I started following you and I saw your YouTube link on your bio and I click on and I started following your video. So from then I became a massive fan of JWTV uh, because I'm also a dog lover and since I got what I was looking for. Sure. All this blogging has been about entertainment, politics, so... For we the dog bloggers, um, I even wanted to tell you to add, add cats for the cat lovers to us. Well. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Sure, for sure. I think I, I get that a lot too. There are a lot of people who told me to do other animals and stuff like that. Now, even before I let you introduce yourself to my dog lovers and all of that, can you give me your top three episodes on GH Dog TV? Your favorite? My favorite top three um, episode was... Um, I, I don't remember the name. It's Efia, a certain young lady. Yes, his father is a, a breeder or a, a dog yeah. owner. Owen, oh, Big shout outs to Sun Love Kennel, the boss of Sun Love Kennel, yeah. And um, I love, he's not a breeder, um, Junior. Okay. He's a dog trainer and I, I love that guy. Like, And um, there's this massive dog trainer. I don't know um, his name, but he, he owns um, Pudus. Like he has trained them for them to dance. Okay, 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 it's just, okay. uh, Big shout outs to the boss man Tiwoni Sam. Tiwoni Sam Dogs World, okay. And actually I have I don't know whether he's young or big. He inspired me a lot. Um, um there's this young guy who owns a can I even met him at I'm the owner of Suarez. Okay, dynamic. Yeah, very young guy with a canal and that guy inspires me a lot. Like looking at his age owning this big canal, like uh, as I'm a cage. I have to also start owning dogs as so. So uh, actually, those are my top three. Yes, um, dynamic, um, a fear, and the guy who said to any some. Um, I d since um, Junior isn't a breeder and he's a train, I think those are my top three. But I will include Junior to be part of um, the top four. Yes. Wow, nice one, dog lovers. I'm right here with this boss man. He's he's a big fan of GH Dog TV. Yes. I'm telling you, this year we are going to get interactive with lots of the dog lovers. There are going to be lots of dog lovers episodes. So, you've got dogs, you're a dog lover. You know what to do. Just link up with the contact details on our screen. And we just get interactive and then have a wonderful conversation. So, boss man, let me allow you to officially introduce yourself to my dog lovers who are watching. You've got beautiful dogs right here, by the way. Oh, thank you very much. My name is um, Simonia Jenny Watson. But on campus, I'm a student. Um, I'm in tertiary level 400. On campus, people normally call me as Galant Sambo. And that's my social media names, Galant Sambo. Yes, yes, yes. That's the name I, I, I see you mostly comment with Galant. So which school are you at at the moment? Um, I'm attending um, I'm in University of Skills and Entrepreneurial Development. Um, abbreviated as Amstead at Kumasi Town also. Reading accounting. Nice one, boss man. Now, let, let, let's pick it up from the scratch. How did your love for dogs start? You've talked about seeing GH Dog TV and you were happy that there's such content for dog lovers and all. So how did your, your, your love for dogs start? Actually, um, I wasn't that type, which was born into a house full of dogs. Um, so my love for dogs that didn't start from childhood. Actually, I used to fear dogs. Um, shouts to this my brother, Kobe Joseph. He just um we lived at a compound house way back when we were young and they who um they were owning a house so they had dogs. So anytime I visited them like the, um they had puppies as well. So um um children like they would be like on your she on your she so I used to run. So for me fancy I used to fear dogs but growing up I developed love for dogs when uh, we moved from actually we were staying at Tafo. We moved from Tafo to Medumayan. My grandpa may so rest in perfect peace. 
um, he brought us, he, actually he wanted a dog which is all white. He was owing this um, um, foreign dog, but he doesn't know the breed. He said he saw someone sell anything. The dog was all white. So I'm thinking it might be a dogo, since most of the dogos are all white. So he just bought the dog um, and started training the dog. So when we came to Meduma, he said he wanted a dog which is all white. But we couldn't find some, so he get, he got us a, a local dog. He just a local dog which is white and it was white and brown. So my love for dogs started from there. So we brought the um, puppy, and actually my sister was afraid of dogs. So being the only guy in the house, whether I'm afraid or not, I have to gather some vimbi, a lot of lobby. So my love for dogs started from there. But unfortunately, that dog died. Yeah, that dog died. I think it stayed with us for about three to four years and it passed away yes so that was when my love for dogs started and i decided to move from the local to the foreign breeze as well because i said oh no they are high like their faces they are scary so as i developed log um dog for sorry love for dogs um with our local dog um i think 2022 that was when the covid came yeah, twenty. Yeah, I bought a buabo, and um, seems I'm not fortunate enough. These are the only dogs that have stayed with me for long. That one also died at age of seven months, true parvo virus. Yes, and her name was Pearl. Sorry, Pera. Her name was Pera. Like it was a female dog, and or um, her so rest in perfect peace. As so, so fortunately for me now, if I have these two dogs, two these bull max Steven, they are getting to twelve months. Sorry, they are getting to two years. They are one year, 11 months old. So next month, they will be two years. Okay, okay. so let, let, let me take you back to um, when you were talking about you being afraid of dogs and all of that. How were you able to cope with this fear for the dogs? I'm asking this because there are lots of people who watch, even before I was um, coming to visit your place and then have this interview. I met this boss man who also told me that he watches GH Dog TV, but then he is scared of the dogs when he sees people interacting with the dogs at all. So how were you able to take that fear out? Well, actually, even I, I also post um, these dogs on my status, some of my colleagues, especially the females, they be like, take them off, they are scary. So as I said, when we moved to um, our new house at Medmen, my grandpa brought the local dog. I being the only guy, whether I'm afraid or not, I have to feed the puppy. So when those, um, the first dog I had wasn't an aggressive one. It was a friendly dog. So um, the love for dogs started right from there because the dog was playful, very friendly, and I was the only one feeding him. Sorry, feeding it. I was the only one feeding it. And my sisters, they were all afraid of dogs. So as a man in the house, whether you are afraid or not, you have to feed the dog. So as I started feeling... Um, feeding the dogs, I realized they are not even scary as we think. Yes, and it was good for me. My first dog was a playful one. If it had been an aggressive dog, maybe by now I would still have fear dogs, but it was a playful one. So my love for dogs started right from there with that puppy. It was playful and it wasn't scary. So as I kept on feeding the dog, playing with the dog, whilst it was a puppy too, the time it died, I started developing love for dogs, and I realized they're not even scary as people say. They only become scary um, when you don't owe them. Yes, they even become scary. And as people are saying, you're not the one owning these dogs, but here we are, and they are not doing anything. So they aren't scary as people think. I think it's how they have perceived it, and it's high time people change their mentality. Yes, sure. It's high time people change their mentality about dogs, especially foreign dogs. Yes. Okay, so when you were talking, you talked about during the lockdown times, that's the year 2020, you got for yourself a boabo. So, what informed that decision to get that dog? Um, actually, um, since our local dog died, and I developed love for dogs. I thought owning a dog, so I informed my grandma that I want to have a dog. And he said, okay, only if I'll have time for the dog. But of course, as I then I was schooling. And he said he won't be able to wake up at 6 a.m. feeding dogs, um, cleaning them and other stuff. And I told him I can. So he said, I'm sorry, she gave me the go ahead and I went. And actually, I was thinking of owning a dog. So I didn't know much about this breeding and other stuff. I thought uh, you just see someone 
who's having a dog and you like the dog and you just buy. So I didn't even know about pure breed, pedigree. I was just looking for a wobble dog because I find those dogs very nice and friendly. Yeah, so um, I saw a post on, I think someone's status or so, and I contacted the person and he said, oh, okay, so I met the person and I bought the dog and we came home, we started pre- um, playing and um, I didn't know there was even something called power virus because our local dog never felt sick, although we never sent it to any um, veterinary or something. So when I bought the dog, a friend advised me to get a vet. So I came to Mount Pontin. I got a female vet. She started coming to our house, giving them medicine, started writing in their books. So I thought that was all until I, they told me um, when the dog is a puppy, it needs to go vaccines and the rabies. So when um, she gave them those two medicine and the rabies, I thought that was all. I didn't even know there's something even called power. So when the dog felt sick, um, I went to the veterinary shop. Um, I complained and they gave me medicine. So for one month, it was still not eaten. And um, I decided to take it to a veterinary shop at the one at Wayek, the government one. And when I went, they told me it was too late. So. The dog died at the veterinary hospital and it was buried there. So um, that was actually all about Pera. Yes. So, so sorry for your loss, but do you being um, like, let's say you having a dog for your own for the first time and you losing it, how was it for you? Actually, uh, that day I went to the veterinary with a brother, yes, somewhere, and when they told me, um, my dog didn't survive. Um, I stood there for about 10 minutes and they were like, are we taking it home to bury it or we yeah, are burying it at the hospital? And it took me two minutes to answer because I was confused looking at the amount I spent as a young guy and the amount I used to buy the boar boar and losing this like that without it even going to one year. Although I didn't buy it for breeding purposes or something, but at least it could have served as security. Yeah, so I, I stood there for some minutes and my brother told me, let's let them bury it there. So they just um, took money for the vaccines and everything and we just left it. When I came home, um, I was just quiet. So I was just quiet. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. Um, people might not understand if you are not a dog lover. It's like losing a relative, actually. So it wasn't easy. But you have to cope with it after all. Because I had that... Um, mentality of owning another dog. So if, um, and actually I met a woman um, next to our house and she told me, I was saying like, grandma is in the bar. And you know, like, it's like someone gives birth, some die at infancy, some grows up. So that was source of encouragement from the woman. And I said that I also own a dog. Um, maybe not that same year, maybe years to come. And now we have these two beautiful dogs. Wow, nice one, nice one, nice one, dog lovers. I'm sure, I'm sure you're loving the conversation right here with the boss man, Gallant Humble, and he's got these beautiful dogs right here. Dog lovers, check this beauty out. Very, very nice dog right here. So now, let's get to these dogs right here. How many years did it take for you to get these two dogs as well? Um, actually, and which one of them came first? Actually, um, I think Corona was in 2020. And these dogs are getting to two years old, 2021, if I'm not misleading. And then actually, this wasn't a dog I bought for myself. It's our big boy who bought it for security purposes. But me being a dog, a dog lover, I've been the one taking care of them together with another brother. He's not here. So we bought both of them at the same time. Actually, we bought them for security reasons yeah, because we are staying at a new site. So we bought both of them at the same day, but from different people. And they weren't breeders. Um, we bought them from different dog owners. So they were all brought into this house the same day and we started taking their, um, care of them. So. Nice one. And they are, they are looking very fine and all of that. Dog lovers. Just take a look at this Brendo right here. Very beautiful dog. So these are the chief security in the house. I know this place is a new site. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, actually, they are the chief security in the house. And the main purpose of us getting a dog, fit, um, good for me, the one who bought the dogs, our big brother is also a dog lover. 
but the other guy here with me on the he's not all much of a dog lover but he likes dogs so um actually thief came when we first put up this building and they came and stole certain items which my brother brought his name is joel uh, sorry, sorry joseph we joseph brought and we bought them for security reasons so i think last year we woke up and we saw blood at our fence horse um in the night we heard the dogs barking but we thought it was their normal barking they do back at night so we didn't even mind them so um early in the morning we saw blood um on our fence who and i was like how come there was human blood and my brother was even saying it's not a human blood it's an animal blah blah blah, blah. we couldn't differentiate so we went to the police station made a police case and the ups and downs we decided to show so I, I for me i think um it's the same people who came and stole us they came again but maybe when they jumped the fence went into the house and they saw these two big dogs they um you see that the dog bites them or they rush back and probably they got hurt and their blood remains at the hall yes so actually they are for security reasons so for the male it hasn't even crossed before except crossing the female for the first time Yes, and the female too has given birth once. Sure. Nice. So if, if I'm getting it well, it's more like people that were intruders in the house who came into the house, they robbed you for the first time, but the second time they came. They have to. I don't know what happened at the night, but for me, I thought um, after the intruders jumped the fence, went to the house, and they saw these two dogs, it's either they rushed back and they got it or maybe the dogs did them something at that night that's why their blood still remains at the fence so yes so we don't even know what actually happened but we woke up in the morning and we saw blood on our fence so yes so um people staying at new sites um, which they go to work in the morning comes in the evening it will be good for them to get dogs if not you can't afford the four hours at least the local um, local ones some are aggressive so you can get yourself two local or three local dogs, feed them properly, and they can be for security reasons to you. So, because um, nobody knows when there will be an intruder, although it's God who protects us, but dogs also serve as security for men as well. And they are men's best friend. You can't take that fat. Sure. <laughs> nice one. And since then, you've never had any cases of burglars or intruders in the house. Okay, since then, we haven't had any case of such since then we haven't seen any intruder in the house or something and it actually looks like looking at the our area um there's another um, house i think next three houses the guy is also having a german shepherd so looking at the area we are the only two houses having this big doors as well so since then we haven't had any intruders nice one you you you, you might just have Bumped into our channel for the first time. This is GH Dog TV on number one dog TV for all dog lovers. And if you are new on our channel, you kindly subscribe to our channel for more exclusive and amazing dog content. And trust me, after watching one episode, even if you're not a dog lover, you're going to turn out to be a massive one. You're watching us, you don't have a dog. Go and get a dog. And trust me, your, 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 your house is going to be secured. Trust me not just about security dogs are man's best friend and i'm right here with the boss man simani and he's sharing his story about his love for dogs but then let me acknowledge our proud sponsors bravek to chew bravek to chew your number one solution to all ticks fleas and mites infestations you've seen ticks on your dogs fleas mites go and buy bravek to very tasty chew you give it to your dog and after your dog takes in bravecto they are going to be free from ticks fleas and mice infestations for 12 good weeks it works like magic just give it a try and bravecto can be given to breeding dogs lactating dogs and puppies from eight weeks of age so just pick their contact details or when you go to any pet shop you get it as well and then we're also proudly sponsored by Josira pet food the pet food with passion the pet food with passion made in germany very nutritious when you go to any pet shop, you ask of any product from Josira. They've got wet food, dry food, sauces, poppy milk, and what have you. So just link up with them. And the beautiful thing is, they've even got 
dog food for diet sensitive dogs which are grain free and hypoallergenic now dog lovers very soon we'll get to my favorite part where we check out the names of the dogs and everything but then i'm still right here getting up close with the boss man simani right here so boss man if um, if i'm getting a wall there are these two dogs in this house these are the current dogs right here yes these are the current dogs in our house right now and uh, my big brother is also a dog lover. He intended getting a German Shepherd, but uh, we don't have a cage. So we are thinking of putting up another cage for that German Shepherd as well. So um, until then, we might be having three dogs. Maybe the next time you come around. But for now, we're having only two. Two Bull Mastiffs. Yes, sir. Sure. But we intend getting a German Shepherd. Uh, his favorite dog is a German Shepherd, um, Joseph. His favorite dog is a German Shepherd. But for now, we have these two dogs. Okay, nice one. Big shout out to you, big bro Joseph, if you are watching us right here. Now, this beauty right here, I think I think she loves me. She's She's been trying to vibe with me throughout. <laughs> nice one, nice one, nice one, nice one, boss man. So how, how has the experience been with these dogs so far, living with them? Actually, um, it's a nice time, um, especially when they are puppies. So you have to devote yourself and I'm a student, but uh, my other brother is not a student. So he's a footballer and he has been attending these football clubs and other stuff. So we have another family member here uh, who has been taking care of the dogs when we are not around. So it's in this time, you have to wake up in the morning, sweep their cages, um, bath them, give them food. You have to be back in time in the evening, give them food, um, sweep their cages as well. Sometimes in the evening, um, you live in a new site, so when you take them for work in the morning, people will be looking at you as if, um, actually, so we normally take them for work in the evening. Yes, in the evening, around 8.30 to 9, we take them for long, um, work. So the experience, um, living with dogs is very beautiful, but it's stressful sometimes, especially when the dogs are stubborn. Yes, it's stressful. So I think for for that part you need your your, your favorite trainer, Junior the dog trainer, yeah. and um, Tiwani Sam to work on that. Yeah. I even contacted Junior. That was when I got to know Junior about training my dogs. That was my first dog, the Pera, the Buabo. But um, I think the distance, and he said he said I take the dog to his place or he come and train the dog with us. And, our the dog died within that month i had interaction with him so i even plan on talking to my big bro because these two apart from security they doesn't think of anything they don't do anything um, there's no languages no nothing yes if you see it they'll be looking at your face sometimes you call them and they might not even come so um, we are thinking of contacting junior so yes but my brother wants to buy the german shepherd face yes Nice one. Big shout outs to every dog trainer that is watching this video right now. Junior the dog trainer, Mr. Kenneth Singer, Tiwoni Sam, Mr. Kelvin Amwa, and every dog trainer who is watching us. Big shout outs to you. If I forgot your name, big shout outs to you. Now, boss man, let, 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 let's talk about how you care for these dogs. Somebody might be seeing these dogs and they'll go like, whoa, like what goes into these dogs and all of that? Can you can you share with us how you care for them, their feeding routine and all of that? Um, for their food routines, when they were puppies from, you bought them when they were two months. So from that month to them getting to six months, we used to feed them four times a day with the kibos, which people call it chips, the dog chips. We used to feed them with, um, chicken raw chicken we cook them raw so four times daily so they reach the six months and um, we move to three times daily from six months to nine months and from nine months to um, what they are now is two times daily yeah, but we have stopped the um kibbles the chips we have been giving them only chicken and rice yes yeah, sometimes we give them the kibbles in the afternoon together with egg yes yeah, sure so for now, it has been the chicken and the rice. For now, yes. sometimes the kibble in the afternoon when we are around. Okay, so the routine is two times daily. When they turn um, nine months going, we have been feeding them two times daily. 
Nice one, nice one, nice one, dog lovers. Now, very soon we'll be getting to my favorite part where we check out the names of the dogs, their details, and everything. But then before we, we, we go, let me ask you this question. Can you can you tell us your favorite dog breed? Three favorite dog breeds. Um, actually, um, my favorite dog breeds, I haven't even seen some um, face-to-face before. One is the Tibetan Mastiff. Mm-hmm. And the... Uh, um, second one is the Kanga. I love them because of their height and their size. I've been following them. And the third one is um, Alibi. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen all these three dogs before, but they are my favorite dogs. I, li- I like dogs with um, heights, which are huge, and they are scary. Okay. Yeah, like the, this Boomer Steve. The, um, this guy is very scary. So um, my favorite three dogs, I haven't seen some before, but um, I've been watching videos of those three dogs online and I intend getting one in the future because I can't afford for now. <laughs> I can't afford for now. I intend getting one in the future. So, And I have a dream of being a kennel owner. As I said, dynamic kennel inspires me a lot. So the nearby future, if I'm able to open up a kennel, I'll get all these three dogs. Even at least one dog for, I mean, the candle won't be bad. Sure. Wow, wow. Nice one, dog lovers. You can tell that this boss man right here has something for big dogs, dogs with power. Sure. That, is, that, is, that, 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 that is beautiful. So now, before we get to my favorite part and all of that, I would like you to tell my dog lovers something. Tell them the need for them to have dog. You being a dog lover, a dog owner, taking care of these dogs and all. Tell them about why they should get a dog. Let's spread the love for dogs, of course. Actually, um, I don't know whether it's a saying, but I've experienced it. Um, my dog is a man's best friend. So it says it all. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and as I said, we bought these ones for security reasons. And they have been our best friends since then. So for people living in new sites and not even new sites, other cities and other towns as well. You get yourself a dog, even not two, just one for security reasons. And um, you can also buy a female if you wants to be a breeder. Get a pedigree or pure breed um, female. If it's even a male, you can use them for cross. And then at least whilst you are spending on their food, you'll be getting some few incomes. But that shouldn't be the mentality of you owning a dog. It does the mentality is like. You are using the dogs for money. Yeah, you should buy them because of the love for dogs and actually for security reasons because that one day you can't take it out. Sure. sure. Nice one, dog lovers. That is coming from the boss man. See money right here. Now, boss man, before we, we get to my favorite part, I'd like you to say your final message to my dog lovers. Look into the camera and tell them something. Okay, um, last message. Um, my last message is since um, everyone, most of us watching this interview are dog lovers, I would like us all to take good care of our dogs. Yes, and those who are not having dogs, Charlie, you forget one. You forget one. If not a foreign breed, get a local breed dog. Like, cram idea, we know. Yeah, you forget a dog. You forget a dog. Yes. Because the feeling, no, I don't know how to express it, but. Getting the dog, feeling is stivy, Charlie. <laughs> Everyone used to get the dog in the house, sure. So I think these are my final message. And keep following GA Dog Blog. You are said to forgive me one. Oh. Yeah, I forgot that one on campus. You forgive me one. Sure. Nice one, dog lovers. That's the boss man right here. You heard what he's talked about. He says, you forget dog. He says, you forget dog. So get a dog. And thank him later. Dog lovers, we are getting to my favorite part where we check out the dogs. My name is Solo One. You can call me the dog blogger. We go for a quick break. We'll be back shortly. Having trouble dealing with ticks, mites, and fleas infestations on your dogs? Use Bravecto Chew. Just give your dog one tasty soft Bravecto Chew and they will be free from ticks, mites, and fleas for 12 good weeks. Visit any pet shop near you and grab a pack of Bravecto Chew now. For wholesale and retail, contact 0243-554-612. Remember, Bravecto Chew may be used in pregnant, breeding and lactating dogs as well as puppies from 8 weeks of age. Bravecto Chew, your perfect solution to all ticks, fleas and mite infestations.
Okay, so dog lovers, we've got into my favorite part where we check out the dogs, the names of the dogs and the details and everything. So, boss man, let, let's start with this Brendel on my left. Can you tell my dog lovers about this beautiful dog who has become so obsessed with me? <laughs> um, um, her name is... The names are funny. The names are funny. It was given to them by my brother. Um, the day they came, um, we didn't even plan of giving them names. So, when they came, it was like... Charlie, we should call this one badass, the female. <laughs> so we gave um, her the badass. So she's called badass. And as the name goes, um, she's very bad, but she's playful. She's very playful and sometimes aggressive, especially when we get visitors and other stuff. So the names are really funny. It's called badass. Yeah, her name is badass. And just a playful dog. And as you can see, he said he has become obsessive um, with you. And it's playing with you, so that's how it behaves. Dog lovers, check out this beauty right here. I love this dog. Woo! Beautiful dog right here. This dog is so, so in love with me. <laughs> and what do you love about badass? You're a badass. <laughs> what I love about badass is it's being playful. When you get a dog which is um, aggressive every time, it becomes very hard as a dog owner. Jesus. What I love about badass is he being very, very playful. Because this guy here will never play with you. He will never play with you. So sometimes um, when we take them for a walk, with this guy, when you take him for a walk, there is no way someone can touch him. Yeah, but with badass, when especially children who have love for dogs and feel like touching the dogs, so it becomes very playful for them to also have a feel of um, touching foreign dogs as well. So what I love about Badass is it's very playful, very, very playful. Nice one, dog lovers. That is Badass right here. Okay, boss man, and what about our lovely friend here too? Oh, this one is called Teflon. Yes. And Teflon is um, not all that aggressive, but um, actually in the night, even if our friends are coming to visit us, there's no way it will give you a chance. Except to lease on. Lease or maybe it's in this cage. Yes, what I love about Teflon is um, the security reasons. Yes. Um, he's very ag aggressive. And there's no way there can be any intruder. Yes. So that's the most favorite part about Teflon. It doesn't play. It doesn't play. <laughs> doesn't play. Wow, wow, wow. Nice for a dog lover. Check out Teflon and Badass right here. Check out Teflon trying to mount Badass right here. <laughs> nice one. Ooh. Th these dogs are very, very beautiful. Boss man. Nice, nice. So how old is Teflon? Um, they are all um, one year, 11 months. So they will be getting to two years next month, which is March. Yes. So in March, they will be all two years. Wow, 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 beautiful dog lovers. Okay, so this is what we have for you today on GH Dog TV. I'm sure today you love the episode, you love the dogs right here as we got up close with the boss man Simani, who is a proud dog lover. In case this is your first time of watching a video on this channel, kindly subscribe to our channel. And then you hit on the notification bell icon for more exclusive and amazing dog content. And then you also leave a comment in the comment section as well in case you want to link up with gh dog tv you want to advertise your product you want to sponsor our show pick the contact details on our screen you're a dog lover you want to be on the show you want us to visit your kennel pet shop what have you just link up with us then you also follow us on all of our social media handles on facebook instagram twitter and tiktok at gh dog blogger this episode was proudly sponsored by Bravecto Chew, your number one solution to all ticks, fleas, and mites infestation. You've seen ticks on your dogs. Fleas, mites, say no more. Get Bravecto and everything will be solved. Take their contact details and link up with them. Or you go to any pet shop, you get Bravecto. Bravecto can be given to breeding dogs, lactating dogs, as well as puppies from eight weeks of age. And then we're also proudly sponsored by Yozira Pet Food, the pet food with passion. Pet food with passion. You're looking for quality dog food, nutritious for your dogs. Get a product from Yozira Pet Food. They've got wet food, dog food, dry food, puppy milk, and what have you. So just 
link up with them and the beautiful thing is they've even got dog food for diet sensitive dogs which are grain free and hypoallergenic now dog lovers this is where we'll be bringing today's episode to an end my name is solo one you can call me the dog blogger catch you another time gh dog tv your number one tv for all dog lovers